When we're comparing and ordering numbers up to 100,000, we need to use a place value chart. Here is a place value chart. As you can see, it has a ones column, a tens column, a hundreds column, and a thousands column. When we are ordering numbers up to 100,000, we also need to look to a new column to the left. This is the ten thousands column. It tells us how many ten thousands there are in a given number. Here is the number 45,000 on a place value chart. As you can see, we have zero ones, zero tens, and zero hundreds. So we do not need any counters in any of those columns. We have a five in the thousands column, which means we need five counters in that column. And we have a four in the ten thousands column, which means we need four counters in the ten thousands. When we're comparing two different numbers, we need to look at which number has the highest value digit. So let's have a look at the number 32,000 and the number 4,000. As you can see on the place value chart, 32,000's highest value digit is the 3 in the 10,000s column. 4,000's highest value digit is the 4 in the 1,000s column. We know that the 10,000s column has a higher value. This means that 32,000 is greater than 4,000. So when we're comparing this, we make sure that we use the greater than sign. 32,000 is greater than 4,000. Let's compare two more numbers. Here are the numbers 35,000 and 68,000. As you can see, both of these numbers both have their highest value digit in the 10,000s column. So we need to see which of these digits is greatest. In 35,000, the digit in the 10,000s column is a 3. In 68,000, the digit in the 10,000s column is a 6. As we know, 3 is less than 6, so 35,000 is less than 68,000. We can show this using the less than symbol. Sometimes we are asked to order and compare more than two numbers. We can either be asked to do this in ascending order or in descending order. In ascending order, the value of the numbers increases from smallest to greatest, and in descending order, the value of the numbers decreases from greatest to smallest. Here are three numbers on a place value chart. We're going to work out what each of these numbers are, and then we're going to order them into ascending order. Our first number on the place value chart has two counters in the 10,000s column, which means we have two 10,000s, three counters in the 1,000s column, which means we have three 1,000s, seven in the 100s column, meaning we have seven 100s, eight in the 10s, showing us we have eight 10s, and nine counters in the 1s, which means we have nine 1s. This means that our first number, which we'll be ordering, is 23,789. Our second number has a 2 in the 10,000s, an 8 in the 1,000s, a 9 in the 100s, a 2 in the 10s, and a 2 in the 1s. So the second number we'll be ordering is 28,922. And finally, the third number that we'll be ordering has a 1 in the 10,000s, a 4 in the 1,000s, a 2 in the 100s, a 9 in the 10s, and a 1 in the 1s. This means our third and final number which we'll be ordering is 14,291. When we order these numbers in ascending order, we start with the smallest number. All of these three numbers have their highest value digit in the 10,000s column. Therefore, we need to look at which digit in the 10,000s column is the smallest. We know that 1 is the smallest digit in the 10,000s column out of all of our three numbers, and is therefore the first number in our sequence. We're now left with 23,789 and 28,922. Both of these numbers have the same digit in the 10,000s column, so we need to look to the next place value column to the right, which is the 1,000s column. 23,789 has a 3 in the 1,000s column, and 28,922 has an 8 in the 1,000s column. This means that 23,789 is less than 28,922, as 3 is less than 8. So the next number in our sequence is 23,789, followed by 28,922, which is the largest number in our sequence. Thanks for watching. See you next time.